I attempt and I landed a big fish. A big sucker. Okay, so, so but size will matter. That's our best thing, best thing right now in these conditions. So I can start by showing you guys a little bit about what I've been doing. Of course, the, the skeena is extremely dynamic. So some days the water goes up really, really fast, as we all noticed this, this morning. morning. Yeah, shit, right? right. Uh, it also comes <laughs> down, though. They're just by the same phenomena as well. So mm -hmm. by saying that, oh, yeah. uh, that is out of our control. What we can do, though, to increase our odds is to try to find terrain features that will help us squeeze fish to the fly. So if you've got six inches of visibility, um, the fish, just like you and I, don't want to travel too far. You found a spot where there's six right? inches of this? So we'll start. We'll start by just going through everything. Yes, there's going to be some spots that are six inches of this if you slow down the water enough. All right. So we're going to try to to do the best that we can. Yep. But right now it's it's an exploring mm -hmm. game because it's so dynamic. Every day is different. Right. Mm -hmm. So by saying that. The only thing that I can show you is what I had big success on yesterday and uh, w with my boys and I can explain what I'm looking for and what I'm thinking and how and then after that we can be sarcastic to each other all week long because I really like to play ping pong that way, right? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> you picked the wrong group. <laughs> okay. So we'll put the pressure so, on you. I mean, you take right. care, you fish first and show us <laughs> how to hook them. I'll net it for you. And then we'll go Will from there. Will you be standing on the shore by the for bank? Sure. Well, that'll be you the fish, easiest guiding for me there. because it's about 4,000 casts for one fish. Ah. <laughs> oh, so it's any minute now. There we go. So let's six yeah. yesterday. <laughs> right? Yeah. But we got yeah. we got into a lot of fish yesterday, guys, yeah. and, the, and the water wasn't much better, right? Okay. No yeah. Were you yeah. up so or down? I was on the skiing. I've been on the skiing for the last six weeks. Sweet. So that kind of gives me one repertoire in my toolbox is Divine Eye. Dustin and the clan here at Nicholas Dean. Oh. Uh, we've seen <laughs> all sorts of different water temperatures and, uh, and colors and conditions. And the only way that we can try to increase our odds of success is by trying to think about a few things. So, once again, if you, if you have two or three inches of visibility, <laughs> all right, the fish will do the same thing as what you and I are going to be doing, right? Basically, they don't want to swim in faster water than what you can stand in. We all know that. So, the best deal that we have then is to squeeze the fish into riffles. Why? Because they're going to swim out of the fast water. Riffles give them a structure to hide behind and travel in the easiest way possible. The traveling fish have only one thing in mind, get up river. Once in a while they snap at things, but probably just by reflex. So that saying, in these conditions, we're going to fish shallow water. We're going to try to slow the fly down by either fishing a side profile through a seam of a ripple or through the troughs between boulders and rocks. Short casts? Right. Short casts in order to control the fly as maximum as we can. All right, the idea behind having a sink tip that bottom bounces, plus places your fly above the rocks, and usually what ends up tangled in the rocks is a sink tip. That's mm -hmm. why Chad and I are there. Let's just, let's <coughs> just go get, I'll go get your fly for you. I use a 20 pound test bimini because it's so abrasive, this style of fishing. So it increases our odds of landing what we, we hook. You tie a bimini twist? I do. It, uh, both Yvonne and I, it takes less than a minute for no, me yeah, to no, get, that, cool. get those little, things done. Mm -hmm. right? It's like a little spring thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's little, right. Oh, cool. So, meanwhile, I'll, what I'll, we can I'll, do I'll, with I'll, these I'll, conditions, I'll, if we understand the principle I'll take behind one. the hunt, yep. then that's all we can do, right? Meanwhile, in between everything, time spent on the water and fly in the water means the greatest success. You may only have one chance throughout the day, and therefore my service to just you one though eh will assure <laughs> you that you have every i's dotted and t's crossed okay so Sounds that bimini is going to be maintained every time there's an abrasion onto the line let me change it for you and put a new fly on and all that stuff we can do that what i really like in these conditions here is if you've got a fly that works ideally what i suggest is two plies because you can ch keep that pattern alive much longer by simply changing the hook that dulls out versus retying a fly every time, 
right? I'm more than happy to tie two plies for you guys. All I need is a little corner. Usually my routine is I'm up before you guys a few hours earlier or an hour earlier, and I adjust what I'm going to cast into the water for the day. That, therefore, every morning I'm up and I tie a few flies, right? Um, the, uh, the marquee we've used on the skin already, you, you've had success with that fly that Dustin gave you. That's one mm -hmm. of my, my yep. patterns that work very efficiently in these types of weather conditions, right? So you go big, you go small, you go a little bit of into you know, uh, experimentation. So, saying that, let me show you what worked yesterday, and we'll go from there. Does that kind of make, kind of, yep. we all think the same way, right? Yep. So let's start with that. When it's slow like that, that also gives you guys the opportunity to pick Chad, Yvonne, in my mind as well, about structure, about why we fish in each directions. Because it's time to start exchanging tricks and all our fly tying techniques that you guys may have and I do not have myself or even okay. our chat. Getting all in bid. So okay. what I'm saying is let's make the best at what okay. we've got. Alright? Do it up. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going down river. Uh, Chad's building in. Um, we're going to load up two boats. Like you can't do it all at once but he's going to take yeah. us down two groups to a <laughs> shoal down here that no one's fishing that he said is a little more defined than the spot. So what he's talking about is we're going through that slow water going into so Nice. We'll, so we'll change the scenery and we'll see. Yeah, right at the head of all the right. canyon. Change the scenery. Both 